Coinsle.pl ku końcu na najpopularniejsze ruletki CSGO Empire, CSGO Ads, Gamdom i wiele więcej. Z kodem Mateo dostaniecie darmowy balans. Link do stronki w opisie. Doing a significant amount of damage. Now the problem is still, I mean, there's no kit and how do they get the defuse in it? They already got a Galil and an AK. That's a lot to save if you really want to. I was going to say, it might sound crazy, but I almost would want to call the save if I'm on MB. Just you, you set up and you get some exit kills, but you don't lose these weapons. You'll have a powerful buy in the next round, but they're going to go for the retake. Time ticking down. There's no kits. And I think already this is pretty much gone unless they get all the kills right here, right now. No one's on the bomb just yet. Floppy mows them all down. Four quick kills. Bit more, he's got the CC out, doesn't really have to do this again. The bomb is already down, so just try and play this one safely. Kalis hunting him down, and that might have been a big mistake here. Now it's a 2-1-3, and they would have time for it as well. They've got a kit on two players here, so still a bit of time left, still on the clock. No more grenades really left for Cloud9 to try and hold this bomb side, and there's still a fair few seconds on the bomb left, so you've got to be really careful here. Floppy, Molotov down, Kalis will follow up with a shot. JT trying to double it up, but he can't do it. No time. And they, oh, surely they have it. They have the kit. I mean, it's going to be really, really close. They oh, almost double it. step, but yeah, that's down to the last second. You almost heard it tick there. There's no flashbangs, though, for Envy. This has just got to be heads up, and JT holding the angle out towards long, and Nifty is waiting for Kalix, so it's all on him to have success in this battle. Is he ready? Yes, he is. Straight to the face. Nifty on the other side goes down. He needed to follow that up. That was his part of the deal. Kalix did what he needed to out there. Grenade, it's not going to do enough on Ozean. Yeah, he could just hide right here. It won't be a problem. Kalix with the kill, but I don't think he'll have the time for it. Even with the kid this time, it's not going to be quite enough. So, oh, that's a little bit of a gut punch for Envy because they got the B retake. I was about to say that earlier obstacle that would have been all their money gone and instead you see what happens on the reverse it's envy who's forced back onto pistols and that was kind of an opportunity for them to establish themselves early on in this half we can sometimes on the ct side take like five or six rounds to really get going that was a chance to get it you know within three four rounds this is a big kill right here motm doesn't check ryan's got an ak-47 jt has to challenge he wins it and the b pressure is coming in plenty of information about where the defense is located but there's still one player inside the bomb so that needs to be found footstep is heard there's the peak up moose falls and it's going to be another retake into the b bomb site man they had that early kill from the bruce on catwalk on calyx he's already got two kills in the round the creek trying to push through that's so dangerous but he really wants to give his team that advantage two versus three as you said on oz here they double peek him good timing on that one swings wide the other one going for the close peak and now sonic inside of the bomb site one versus three he's going to take down nifty the old rivalry going on there but calyx with a triple kill because that is super susceptible to a very fast aggressive b hit yeah, it really is. I mean, it's the sort of thing you would know definitely if you've been watching a lot of demos and they've been doing it in the past, but it can be hard to see on Dust2 when they throw that smoke in the middle, you they, know? Well, the desk talked a lot as well about, you know, the, the grudge, the emotional factor of this game and how much these teams and endgame leaders probably researched just to win this match. It might be something new set up just for Cloud9. Ooh. Here's Nifty at the railing. Three quick kills. Flashbang from a teammate. This is done perfectly. It's just against Pistol, so let's not get crazy, but... It's going to be kind of hard to guess where someone's defusing, so we'll see how that goes. But the bomb isn't even down yet. Again, that's how much time that Molotov was uh, purchasing for them earlier. I think they're going to try and boost over the smoke that they themselves set up on the catwalk. They see at least one target, MOTM nearly going down. Nifty, bit of an awkward position, and misses the first chance. He's going to go for the job and nearly gets it. That is close. One more chance, and there it is. MOTM going down. JT out at long with Sonic as well, and that's a good turnaround. OC there covering long with the AWP, and that's a one-on-one. -on -one. The smoke is already up, and he's on the defuse. Oh, no. He can't get say it. No, he's not going to be able to get it. No chance to guess the angle, and defusing inside of the smoke is Kalix. Floppy will lurk. Pop flash in. He is so blind. He is so dead. <laughs> he turned around for it. No chance at all. What a nice little trick. Now it's a mid to B split. It's the only option they have left, and they don't have any utilities. They've already got one in the choke point. Nifty comes over. There's a quick flick down. That's fast. That's quick, too. Leg shot onto OC, and he does get pushed from window. But it's oh. all slaughtered from behind me, who made it there just in time to run. But you're right, that smoke is not going to cover everything. They can battle on the cross, it's floppy, and he misses everything as well. Now JT's in a lot of trouble, but Sonic is on catwalk just for the moment. Ooh, what a hit from floppy, and he's flanking out wide, but Kalix will turn around for the shot. Now it's a one-on-one, -on -one. OZ versus Moose, and it's 25 seconds, and Moose going to throw him all the way up there. Now he will be able to find a US. Oh, no matter, OZ, that's a crispy shot to take him right down a dangerous place for the smoke to be fading. And now JT's exposed. He's got to drop down. The A bomb site is open. Envy might just turn this around as long as they either all have to commit or none of them commit to that railing fight and they've traded him out. 
That, yeah, I completely agree. Looked like that was way too much one at a time. Just leave him alone if he's falling back. He was already low on health just to don't go and throw so many people away. Two MP9s and a Deagle. The bomb is down. And Floppy and OC, they really don't want to let this round go, and I can't blame them for it. They don't have a kit currently picked up, so they're going to need to find one somewhere on the ground here. OZ, he's got the M4, and he's got some space to work with. He could definitely take one of these fights. A little bit of a challenge there. Kalix now trying to fall back and just buy time. I don't think enough oh, pass. Oh, oh, one more headshot. We'll see if it's going to turn out that way. He did see the face there, and we'll tag up Nifty. Again, the move speed on the scout is kind of ridiculous. Yeah, tough for Nifty to handle. Mihu going to challenge, going to try and find an opening, and he's got Floppy out in the open. Yeah, you take that fight all day long. Ready for the follow-up peak as well. Oh dear. MOTM doesn't even get to pull the trigger. 20 seconds as they start to set it up. Envy, I'm not sure they've left themselves quite enough time to actually do this. That shot doesn't connect, even though it looked like it should have, but the second one will. And Sonic is going to be taking down Mihu. Now it's JT alone on the bomb side, and he needs to pick a backup. That's a nice peek out of Moose. He just got into the corner there, and the bomb, four seconds. It's going to be going down. Nifty with a missed opportunity, but he's retaking the position. Almost oh, raked no. out. Oh, what a battle going on, and now the smoke to cancel it out. A one versus four here. Cloud9 doing their very best, but it is not going to be enough. And look at Nifty with his knife out. Same with Ryan. They both want to go for the knife. Oh, they Do actually it. want to try and see if they can embarrass him here. This is what we love to see. He's got no chance at all. The smoke is gone. They come charging through. Knights are out. And they're just toying with him at the moment. It will be a 16 to 10. Kalix showing a bit of mercy in the end. Flashbang should allow the Deagles to have a cleaner fight if they want. Oh my god, I cannot believe Floppy's just offered that up to Moose. It's through the smoke, so it's a bit lucky, but you add that on top of it, and it's a pretty disgusting opening for Envy. Yeah, that is absolutely absurd. He's now flashed and really close fight here. He needs to fall back. He hasn't reloaded yet. Running and shooting at the same time and getting caught finally by MOTM. But now they're pushing up into the bomb side, and only OC is here, and he's out long. If he comes too close back to the corner, he could lose that M4 very quick. I'd say this is high risk. If they go for it, they're going to swing. There's one. Oh, Sonic on the other side, and Envy losing track of this a little bit. They could have, I think, they could have had three people fighting OC all at yeah. once, but... Well, he's brought in an M4, and that'll do it no problem. Mihu going down, and OC turning for it. That was about the best possible outcome of that one. Sonic will be dropped inside of the bomb site, and they'll get the bomb pound at the very least here, but it's still a three versus four, and they are low on health. Using some grenades, maybe a little bit early even. Cloud9 should have a very, very good shot at retaking this, and they need it again. Their money's basically out, so they must have this round here, or they might let Envy right back in the game. Deep Molotov and Nifty, he's pushed into the fight, and Ozzy will take him down. Some good grenade usage. Kalix will get the follow-up, he's the only one with any kind of health. Ryan is just trying to stay alive, but that's really not going to happen at this point in time. Kalix, good shot, and Ryan doing a little bit of damage here, but they're going to overwhelm him at the end. MOTM to take him down, and they don't have a kit, but they should have enough time for the defuse. It's a little bit close, but I think they'll just have it. I don't know. Uh, I think it's going to be right on it. No. E oh my lord. Much prefer this kind of a setup for them here. It seems like they feel the pressure. They feel the hit coming, but there's nobody rotating from the A bomb side. Kalix is going to lead the way with low HP. He's at least going to give up the positions of the opponents. They're going to come right for it. Floppy with a double kill. Mihu with a team kill. That was almost inevitable, but the AWP is there to back it all up. Oh, it's going to be a 10th round. Oh, we need to replay this round for, from JT's point of view. He's the one that put out the flashbang for them to two peek that in. It almost looked like he wanted to try and be one of them. Ooh. It's like, guys, we're just a bit... I, I know I've got the wrong uniform on, but... <laughs> Can't we just be friends anyway? No. No friends in Counter-Strike. Three versus four. Moose, Ryan, and Kalix left. They've got an M4 that they've stolen. It's, again, it's not confidence inspiring. Don't know if they wanted to boost behind that smoke, but certainly not going to matter if it's gone. Oh, oh, what a shot from OC. That's fantastic. A triple kill for him in the round. And Moose is still at it, but OC will continue. Now a quad, and he's... Yeah, that was the closest they got right there. And they just bring it back. OC not seeing anyone, and there's a bit of a fight. It gets a quick trade, and Ryan wants to get close to the Mac 10. He almost has to want to make the opening. I don't really blame him for trying to do that. But now they line up inside of the smoke and floppy. He wants to continue. Nice shot. The 5 7, and even <laughs> the Mac 10, he just wants more and more. And he's going to maybe try and get it to nearly have that one. Some good content coming your way. 18th round, and Mihu lining up for a good double. Oh, OC, he should have been going down almost immediately there. Nifty taking an extra couple of seconds, and yeah, he's going to be flashed in the one. They've got him locked in behind the tree. <laughs> this is really uncomfortable, but they're not hitting him. And he's going to go for the fight. Flashed in, I think. 
That could have been very, very interesting. If they could have got him down, it would have at least been a two on three, but now I'm not so sure about it. Envy going for that 15 to two comeback. If they could at least take down JT, that is. These risks. Kallax has the intel that he's passing on to Ryan, who's now closing, closing in with the bomb site, and that could have been a win. What is the flashbang going to give you? Okay, so you're changing now? your tune after six years of casting. I, I know, but this is the one, the one area. Well, it's got them out the staircase. That's that's impressive. Wrapping around, Moose is in some trouble, but Mihu's covering him from behind. And this is actually a full-blown ring around the Rosie. Yeah. That is not going to go well for the players with just Glocks and no armor. Two players at the A bomb site, Moose and Nifty, and they can't find anything. Kallax is going to have to deliver once again. Nifty is flanking them, but MOTM is also flanking the A bomb site. I don't know how this is going to turn out. Kallax going down, and Nifty is a second too late. They just cleared the corner. I think this might be it, especially now with Moose going down. This could have turned down a different way. It looked like maybe Nifty could have had the timing, but that's not going to be the case here. He gets a kill on Floppy, but they know where he is, and even if they don't have the grenades, they're still going to win the fight. 16 to 7. So valuable, what a position to be in. And now with Moose picking up the shot on OC, who's been so good with the USP on these CT side pistols, that's gonna be a little bit of an early lead for them, although Sonic will find a kill and nearly a return there, but JT goes down, dinked, and Ryan put into play. There's Kalix. Looked like he maybe could have been even leading the whole thing, but he was there to pick up the important kill on the bomb side, and now Floppy in a one versus four in a pretty much unwinnable position. Yeah, I mean, the thing with Kalix is that position is so powerful that even just maintaining it, even just having it, and your opponents knowing you're there, yeah, this uh, it's weird. It looked like Cloud9 had the right read, and now they're kind of questioning themselves. That Molotov will force him back. That one went up in the air, otherwise he would have been forced out even further. 22 seconds on the clock, and they're going to try and see if they can rain into the bomb site. But caught mid-air is Moose. OC will land a kill as well, and they're simply running out of time and players right here. The bomb being planted, but can they hold it in the meantime? It's a three-on-three three now with Kalix Mihu. continuing the charge. And you're right, Mihu coming in with a flank from the A bomb site, and that might be a devastating flank in the middle of this retake. OC not getting a chance just yet. They're waiting for Mihu, and he's about to get a kill. No doubt here, he's just going to see if he can get the double. Quick one and turning oh, for it. No. JT actually quick enough to do it, but Kalix gets one more shot and he's back behind cover as well. OC with the AWP pushing in, but Kalix is a beast, a triple kill. They're gonna bring the bomb all the way towards the inner bomb site, but if Mihu runs, JT's gonna hear everything. No, they're gonna double peak team in. JT's got them both. That's the round. 19 yeah. seconds with the bomb down. There's not even, yeah, they're just gonna fall back. That's what a what a great round from Cloud9. The aggression to take control, not only that, but just the repeated utility sent in towards Team Mid to stall this out as long as possible. And at that point, I mean, remember, Kallax had rotated back, or excuse me, Mihu rotated back. He didn't have any nades to help clear out Team Mid. He'd used all of his flashbangs, all of his smokes, and everything towards Ivy earlier. That is a great nade from Floppy. He just decimated him and now plays behind the smoke perfectly. Blind continues the spray. USP's doing work. JT in support. And that it's a fifth round for Cloud9. You're right, five round or six rounds isn't really enough, but I mean, it, it feels just too little too late, but you gotta say, I mean, it, you might as well come alive at some point and give yourselves a chance. Yeah, they're very near the edge. Nifty. Just the Galil. Let's see if Fluffy can get one more kill, and he's already got the three. Unnes unnecessary jump down. Nifty's just hoping that he's going to have a chance, at least, to get some uh, some nice frags on the board here. I don't think he's going to be dreaming about anything else. I can't believe he didn't win that fight. A grudge match on the biggest level. It absolutely is, and maybe a chance for a little bit of trash talking once it's all done. Me, who's going to be taking down MOTM, and if anyone win this pistol round, that is incredibly bad news for Cloud9. They needed that B push to work because they're ready with the bomb and T main at the moment. So oh. they need a distraction, and they're not getting it. These two players, uh, JT and Sonic, over they're just waiting for the kills to come through and cause a distraction, and it's not going to happen. And that's been absolutely red. Yeah, Envy knew what was coming the whole way. Floppy gonna swing, that's a fight that he wants, but that's such a tough fight to take against the P2K and the USP, me who's gonna win it. JT alone with the bomb, he goes down as well. What a stunning quad kill for me who. But you just stay alive in the B-bomb side, like you push down and you now you're living on the, on the floor of that B-bomb side. That could force a rotation, right? But because me who gets two kills over there, yep. no one is buying it. No one even budged. Somehow.
They got beat by the timing of the speed push. A little bit of a hit. Ooh. Oh, that's a nice shot coming through. But again, as you said, just might not have enough time for it here. JT still got a Molotov, and now they're just starting to bleed players. I don't know if it's worth it. Mihu's pushed in all the way along the side. A bit of a turnaround MOTM. That's a massive kill. He would have gone down, and that would have maybe been a bit of a chance, but he actually managed to get the swing in, and now Kalex trying to return and save the org. Which he's being hunted by MOTM and he'll have the shot with just the clock as well. It's gonna be a dicey half for Cloud9 after the way their CT side went, but it's getting really desperate now. Good opening kill for JT. Mihu's forced into the open, but the spam in return. He's found Sonic, can't control Ivy, but it's got low HP, and now Ryan pounces into action. Another double kill, this one's spinning. That was a really, really good double for Ryan. I thought for sure he was gonna get traded. Oh, AWP on the other side of the smoke, that's a little bit risky, but Ryan is at it again, adding a third one to the tally here, and that's going to leave JT in a one versus three. Nifty coming out of the smoke, and he should have been dead. I, I think, no, I like it. This is a, it's an amazing product. Yeah. Billion dollar idea. Shout out, Cloud9. JT with an opening kill, going to transfer to an AK-47. Again, we've just kind of fallen into the cookie cutter strategies. Back to the inner bomb side we go. Keep it simple, but they must have the success. That's a decent nade. Ooh, MOTM jumping down through his own flashbang. That is a commitment and a half for Kalex and Miho on the other side. It all goes horribly wrong, and that's it. 16 to 8. A wonderful triple spray down for Miho.